Okay, what's up, y'all? This is, uh, <laughs> this is Tiger. No, I'm just playing. No, this is, uh, Red Hawk with the Straight Talk with Red Hawk show. Um, issue of the day is when they're just not into you. Oh, my goodness. They're just not into you. What do you mean you're not into me? I've spent all this time, like a month or two with you. I've gone out to dinner with you. We've groped each other. What the freak do you mean you are not into me now? What's really going on? We haven't even did the dirty. And you're, and you're not into me yet? Oh, my God. So, anyway, that is the topic of the day. When they are not into you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking like, uh, I don't know what I'm looking like with my little, little bow. It don't matter, though. This is how I'm feeling today. Uh, yeah. Anywho, what do you do when they're just not into you? Well, first of all, depending on which, what, how much time you've invested into this thing, and hopefully it's not that much time because if they have been displaying signs of not into you already and you've, you know, still contacted them and still tried to be with them, we got to stop that. Okay, when a person is showing they're not into you, then step back away from the situation. Okay, sometimes it can be so one-sided to the fact that, oh, he's so cute, and oh, he makes me feel so special, and oh, we have a great time when we're together, that you forget that the togetherness is like uh, spaced out like every two weeks. <laughs> That's not good. A person who is into you, they're going to contact you uh, almost too much. And not uh, that you want a bugaboo. Because we don't need no bugaboos either. But I'm saying, if, if this person is, you know, letting days go by without contacting you, uh, you can almost guarantee that person either is just extremely busy, okay, or they're not into you. Now, if they are extremely busy and you're totally into them, I would make it known, excuse you, um, you know, we've been hanging out and I'm digging you and I would like to spend more time with you, but I noticed that you don't have that much time for me. So, I mean, does this mean that, you know, what does this really mean? And so you do have the, uh, the right to ask this question. Cause I mean, here this person is uh, getting your emotions all, you know, crunched up and, and it may be for nothing. You know, all of a sudden you didn't attach yourself onto this person emotionally and this person don't give a flipping nothing for you. So you need to find that out early. And I don't care if it does hurt. I don't care if, you know, well, uh, it's still too uh, early. Maybe I'm asking. No, you need to find out what's going on. Like, hello, what's going on? You know, either we're going to be together and we're going to try to do this thing or not. I'm just saying, I'm the type of person that I'm going to ask up front. Look, I'm... Psh, Sitting over here wondering why you ain't calling me back. You know, I didn't text you. I didn't call you. I mean, maybe you are super busy. But see, I'm looking for a relationship. And if you ain't got time for a relationship, I need to know that off the bat. Okay? Because that's what I'm looking for. And maybe you ain't looking for the same thing that I'm looking for. And we need to know that ASAP. Because you ain't going to be stringing me along. You know, I'm all in, you know, every time we get together, you wow me. To the point that I'm sinking deeper and deeper in this emotional pit. You know, oh, well, he does make me feel good. Oh, he does. Okay, but look how long it takes him to do that. So somebody who is totally into you, they're going to be like, what's up, Miss Lady? I'm busy right now, but I was thinking about you. I mean, two weeks that went by and you ain't called me, you ain't text me. And I'm sitting up here wondering, uh, does he really like me? Uh, duh, probably not. I'm just saying. So, I hate to duh, y'all, but I'm just saying. I mean, duh, action speaks louder than words. So, he ain't calling you. He ain't telling you how much he misses you when, you know, he does finally call. Oh, baby, I've been so busy. Oh, but I just, just had to just come up off my busyness and, you know, come holler at you. Because I've just, you know, it, it's been too long since we spent some time together. So, I'm just, uh, you know, we need to spend some time together. Because I just don't want you to think that I'm not into you when I really am. Okay, I mean, hello, uh, talk to me. Tell me what's going on. So, yeah, that's, you know, if a person is acting like they're not into you, then they're probably not. And I would just, you know, ask them point blank what's really going on. And then they can say one thing with their mouth. But if their actions prove that they're still not that into you, 
then be like, okay, I'm just going to stop connecting with this person. Stop calling them, stop texting them, and see how long it takes them to get back to you. And that should determine if they are into you or not. And that is, is he really into me 101. So there. Anywho, you have been listening to a segment of Straight Talk with Red Hawk. This is Red Hawk looking like Tiger today. But anyway, let me stop. Uh, anywho. Yeah, so check us out, MondoClub.com, www.MondoClub.com, uh, RedHawk1967. I hope I don't look too much. I look like, oh, Fufu, the little frilly thingy. You know what I'm saying? I do. I know I look like Fufu. Uh, Fufu. Anyway, so yeah, MondoClub.com. Check us out, RedHawk1967. I can't even tell y'all my schedule because it's changed. Just look for us, okay? Pace. <laughs> Pace. Yeah, that. I can't even find the turn off button. Ugh. 